Hi, welcome to the Boeing Air Refueling Technology Trailer, otherwise known as BART. On the side of the trailer, you'll see the Boeing New Gen Tanker. That's what we're going to offer to the Air Force as part of the KC-135 replacement program. We take BART around the country to trade shows and other events to showcase the technology that Boeing is offering. Why don't you come inside and I'll show you around. Hi, welcome inside BART. You can see here the heritage of the Boeing company, is specifically in the, in the air refueling business. And when people come in our trailer, it's a great way for them to see how air refueling has changed over the years. The KB-29 was the first tanker that had the Boeing air refueling boom on it. Boeing invented the air refueling boom. The KC-97, really one of the first purpose-built tankers. The KC-135 was the first jet tanker, and it's still in use today with the Air Mobility Command. And then the KC-10, was really the first multi-role tanker that could carry cargo and passengers as well as air refuel aircraft. All of the evolutionary systems and designs that have gone through the proud history of the Boeing company are going to be incorporated into the Boeing new gen tanker. We have a number of aircraft on the wall that show the different configurations of the Boeing new gen tanker. When visitors come in it gives them a quick way to understand what's on the inside of the airplane. The tanker has the capability to carry cargo pallets, it can carry passengers or patients, or it can also carry a combination of cargo and passengers, giving the Air Force maximum flexibility. The tanker also has the capability to refuel using a wing air refueling pod, which you see here refueling an F-18. It can refuel using its boom, and the tanker also has the capability to take on fuel in flight. So basically it gives the tanker unlimited range. Hi, this is where the fun starts in BART, where visitors have an opportunity to be a boom operator, to try their hand at refueling aircraft in flight. Behind me, you see the air refueling operator station. One of the major differences between the KC-135 and this station is, in the KC-135, the boom operator lays on their stomach in the back of the airplane and looks out a window. This system uses cameras and monitors to provide the same picture to the boom operator, in fact, an even better picture. The system incorporates a lot of features that are designed to improve the capabilities and reduce the workload of the boom operator, and many of these features are in use today on our Italy and Japan tanker. At the conclusion of their air refueling sortie, visitors have a much greater appreciation of what boom operators in the Air Force do on a daily basis around the world. This is one of the most popular features in BART when we're on the road, and that's an opportunity to fly a modern military aircraft. The flight deck you see here is derived from the Boeing 777 commercial airliner, but it's going to be modified for the new gen tanker with brand new displays across the front that are from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. One of the key features included in the Boeing flight deck design philosophy is the fact that our controls are interlinked and back driven. That's technical talk for saying when I move the, the yoke left or right, the pilot in the other seat feels that same movement. It's very important in a stressful military flying environment and improves situational awareness and overall safety of the aircraft. Visitors to BART love our flight simulator, and one of our biggest challenges is getting them out of the seat once they've had an opportunity to get their hands on the controls. Thanks for joining us today for a tour of BART and an opportunity to see some of the air refueling technology and the tanker heritage of the Boeing company. As we travel around this great country for the rest of the year, we hope you have an opportunity to come and experience firsthand the Boeing new gen tanker.